Hey, it's Doug. Welcome into the CCM Cafe. David Leonard, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, joining us. Thanks for making time. Thanks for having me. So l let's start off with like the musical career for you, which I understand started in college, mm -hmm. and then we're dropping some pretty cool names after that. So okay. let's walk us through go that ahead, one. Go. Uh, yeah, I mean, how much time we got? There's so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a band in college, signed a deal with Word back in the day, back in 05, a band called Jackson Waters. Okay. Did that for a few years, then that ended. I started playing keys for this little unknown rock band out of North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, called uh, Need to Breathe, if you've ever heard of I think of I've them. heard of them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I even said North Carolina, but South Carolina. South Carolina. But, uh, yeah, I started doing that, and I did that for a few years, and then uh, started leading worship at this church in Franklin, and then me and a friend of mine started writing songs for that church and started a band called All Sons and Daughters. And, um, yeah, it was a crazy season of yep. seven years just, like, creating for a church. And wow. Loved it. And now I'm doing my own thing and producing and writing and running the studio, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, because you produced uh, Jackie's CD, Jackie Yeah, that Velasquez. is one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, for I did sure. five years of radio with Jackie. No way. And so I didn't know, yeah, we probably have too much to commiserate about. Oh, my gosh. The stories that we could have. I tell you. So do we take away from that that you have a hard time holding down a job? No. Yeah. It's a series of seasons yeah. and each one. So what does it feel like now to be a quote-unquote solo artist versus being a part of another band? I don't know. I mean, I think I've, for years, you know, when you're in a band, you, you hide behind the band. You know, your convictions and things tend to shift towards what the band is. Okay. And I think for the first time, me doing the solo thing, it's it's what do I feel? You know, what do, what do I believe? What do I what do I want to say? And I think that's been the biggest thing that's been really different for me because all of them are true to who I am. Right. But you know, it's it's like me and you being in this room right now. It's me and you, but there's also another like a spirit as well when our personalities come together. Right. And then all of a sudden, it creates this kind of thing, and so that's that's what happens in bands. And and so now doing it by myself is it's a little different. Has it been sort of a, 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 a stretch and grow? Oh, Are you introvert, extrovert, a mix? Yeah, I'd say both. Yeah. I'd say I have a good, healthy dose of both. I like to be by myself, but I, I love to be around people. It fuels me up. But, um, yeah, I, I, th I think most people have a little bit of that in them. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be all one or the yeah. other. Yeah. You're going to perform some songs here in the cafe. Yeah. In, in terms of some of the messages just overall in the songs that you're writing and what God's communicating with you through music to share with us a couple of nuggets? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, I, I think just the realization that, that God is for me, um, which I, I think is a struggle a lot of times. I think there's a lot of times where um, over the years that I've, I've felt like I've gone too far or I've... Um, you know, not being able to, to stay where I should and, and the beautiful patience of God and the, the resilient nature of Him and how He's found me in so many different w ways. Um, I think that's what I've, I've loved to carry in this season. I've, I've just gone, man, it doesn't matter where you are. There's a God that loves you and cares, and um, I'm a living, breathing example of that. And I um, just want everybody to know the same. Good news. Yeah. So in terms of songwriting, talk a little bit about what is it like when you when you approach knowing that you're writing a worship song, something that you're going to lead in church versus a song that may end up on the radio or a supposed non-worship song. Yeah. Is there a different headspace? I don't know. I mean, I think I, I try to approach it the same. I mean, I think, you know, some people come in like we're writing a radio song and for me, that's never worked out. Like, I'm, anytime I've set out to do something like that, it's just, it never works. I've always just kind of been of the mindset of, hey, let's just write a good song or let's write a chorus or anything that's just real to us. And mm -hmm. um, if anything comes out of it, awesome. But if it doesn't, then we did our job today and that's what we needed to do, you know. Um, but I, I would say that, you know, I, I'm, corporate moments, they're, they're in radio songs, they're in worship songs. You know, everybody wants people to sing their songs. And I think that, you know, from Coldplay and everybody, you know, th there's corporate moments in all of these songs. And um, so I, t I tend to gravitate more towards that of going, hey, let's create something that everybody will want to latch onto and sing. And, um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just kind of my mindset. So it sounds like maybe we just need to remove the label then. So I know as a, as a radio guy, you get hung up on, well, this is a worship song or this yeah. is a whatever. A song it's is a good songs, song, man. and good we all want to sing song. along that's right. to good songs. Yeah, that's what I believe. So. Talk a little Could be wrong. <laughs> no, I think you're onto something. Yeah. There's something to be said about that. Because yeah. you're right, in, in corporate moments at rock shows that are quote-unquote not necessarily worship things, it's, yeah. it's that connection to the vibe and the experience. Yeah. So is it hard to be transparent in your music in terms of sharing personal things or that? No, that's the easy thing for me. I, I mean, I think... I, I think um, my dad was a pretty good like um, picture of what that looked like for me. I think I grew up with some someone that was pretty vulnerable and was pretty honest, so I, I felt like I saw it done well mm -hmm. as a kid, which I think gave me the courage to be in that place as well. You know, I'm I'm pretty open with with what's going on in life, the good, the bad, and um, I think that's. I think that's the beauty that whenever we can be that, I think people start to, they latch on more and, you know, everybody, no one feels like they're alone. I think that I've felt like I was alone a lot of times through the years and uh, met so many people that were vulnerable with me, which allowed me to move into a state of like, oh, I'm not doing this by myself. Yeah. It's not easy all the time, but uh, people no. gravitate towards that because yeah. they can, most people can smell a phony, right? Yeah, but with sure. someone that's being transparent. Sure. To shift a little bit towards the family life, yeah. what has been uh, some of the highlights in terms of just being a dad, that oh, whole man. transition before you have kids and then you have them? Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's crazy. Yeah, I got two girls and they're crazy. They are crazy. A uh, 10 year old and a four year old. It's never a dull moment. Uh, someone's always singing or screaming or, uh, you know, all the above. Okay. So, <laughs> so it's always a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. We we do a lot of road trips and things like that, and it's just it's always fun to see their faces when we go places that they've never been or do things that they haven't seen. Um, I think I think that's that's the thing that I, re I really love, and I always kind of carry that stuff with me. That's awesome. Yeah. So I know you guys are going to be going on tour with Mac Powell yeah. and Mike Donahay yeah. and Josh Baldwin. Josh Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. So I think you, we were just talking with uh, with Mike earlier, and yeah. the idea that when you get out on the road, you get to enjoy certain freedoms that yeah. maybe uh, don't afford themselves. Uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, for us, we're only going on this tour because we are going to go play golf every day. So, and then we play a show. So. Okay. But really, it's just for the golf every priorities. Day. Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. So what can folks look forward to on that one? Uh, probably will be wore out because we've been playing golf all day. So sunburn it'll probably be and just sunburn, really slow songs. <laughs> we'll probably be upset the majority of the time, so we won't smile. So. Okay, good. Yeah. Get your tickets now yeah. for the Mac Powell and Tired Guys Tour. Yeah, you, you heard it here first.